when you start approaching a season you will discover that the demons that walk in that corridor will begin to know that you are coming and what they will do is that they will fight you out of that realm the spirit realm is a very legalistic realm and a very treacherous realm it's men walking on earth that thinks everything is a function of luck and chance jesus was eight days old they already saw his star and they knew this is a king eight days old he was not related to anybody that looked big in fact he was in a manger and the people that saw his star traveled for months to see him that means before he was born they already saw him and does it not shock you that the people that saw him were not prophets they were astrologers from the east they saw the star of a child that was not yet born and they started traveling months before his death when they arrived he was just eight days old and when they came they said where is the king that was born we came to worship him who told you he's a king was he born in a palace how did you know you are the only one who don't know that they know men in the spirit you are the only one who don't know that the stars of men speaks about them much more than their face how did you know that he was a king where did you read it how did you see it the prophets didn't know the Sanhedrin didn't know nobody knew only witches and wizards knew and the moment they came Herod woke up you know what Herod did Herod killed every child that was two years old he didn't go for eight year, eight days old children he didn't go for one month old children he didn't go for two months old children he didn't go for three months old children he went for two years so that he will not by any means miss this child you see the level of of buffer that the devil creates to get a man a child that is eight years or eight days old the devil will go as far as two years wipe out every child so when jesus is celebrating birthday he's the only one there's no child of his age in his generation they wiped out everybody so that no matter how you try he must be killed do you think all your battles just came because you made a mistake do you think all your battles just came because men hate you battles are indicators in the spirit there is a language every battle speaks white men interpret them there are battles that you fight it shows you that you are making an error so you correct your ways and the battle will die there are battles that you fight it shows you that your light is shining the devil has seen you and so what you will do is that you start applying wisdom there are battles you fight that is from jealousy those type of battles are weak battles it is human sentiment you don't waste your time with them those are the least kind of battles when you are fighting battles because of jealousy it means those are not battles in fact if you involve yourself in that battle it means yourself is not strong if somebody is envious of you pray for him pity him it means he's not growing if somebody is angry that you are rising pity him it means he's not growing. those are not battles in the spirit realm but you see because we are most of us are babes those are the only battles we fight this person backbited this person envies me this person talk forget those things leave men we are dealing with spirits You woke up all of a sudden your car broke down they're attacking you on your job your family somebody is sick don't rush something is happening in the spirit those battles are an alarm system go back to your altar find out which signal is this i need to read what is going on what is happening here did you see the life of joseph all of a sudden his father that loved him that gave him a coat of many colors became offended at him because he had a dream the same period his brothers threw him into a pit the same period they sold him is a season waking up a prince is about to rise your battles speak louder than the people who are, you are hearing every battle is a language discern it when you discern it your life will become a wonder to your generation because seasons comes with battle this is why discernment is a must there are some battles that come to distract you so that you can't pick signals there are some battles that come to make you say things that will disqualify you. Did you read about Elijah? When Elijah was supposed to enter the zenith of his ministry, he said, I'm not better than my fathers. God said, really? Go now. The anointing that is on your life is enough for three people. Elijah alone carried the anointing of a prophet. He carried the anointing of two kings. But Elijah was troubled and he made a statement that he should not have made. Until he made that statement, God was working with him. I'm not better than my fathers. Ah, go and anoint Elisha in your stead. A man is away. God said, go and replace yourself. 
He didn't know that that battle came. There are some battles that came to only make you say the wrong thing. Lord, I don't believe you are real. Ah! You have buried yourself. Oh, Father, I don't care anymore. Ah! Lord, kill me. Ah! You are not wise. You are about to enter your season. That's why those battles came. And so when battles come, that's not the time to talk. That's the time to check. And so if you must talk, talk what was given to you from light. That's why I say your light has come. Because what you need to say comes, the syllables are in light. The steps you need to take, they are encoded in light. It's as you ascend on your altar that you will read the scrolls of heaven. And so when you come out, when they think you will say, I'm finished, you say, when men are cast down, we are lifted. And then they are wondering, that's not what you are supposed to say. Yes, that's not what I'm supposed to say as a man, but I saw something in light. When I entered into light, I knew that this is not a battle to kill me. This is a battle to awaken me to a new season. And so I will speak the language of the season I'm entering, not the season I'm living. This message is available on all digital platforms. Kindly visit our website at www.EncounterJesusMinistriesInternational.org for more information.